next topic called as subroutine what do you mean by a subroutine it's something but yeah a small program which consisting of few instructions which is going to be get executed by the processor a collection of few uh, instruction is going to be called as a yeah, subroutine a small program a sub task containing of a set of instructions which is executed many times is going to be called as subroutine the small instruction few instructions a small program which is going to be get used by the processor repeatedly in a main program that is going to be called as subroutine here a call instruction causes a branch to the subroutine at the end of the subroutine a written instruction is going to be get executed the program uh, resumes execution at the instruction immediately followed by the subroutine call instruction the way in which a computer uh, makes it possible to call and return from subroutine is referred to as a subroutine link method the simplest subroutine linkage method is to save the written address in a specific uh, address uh, which may be uh, registered uh, register decided or dedicated to this function such registers are going to be called as link register uh, when the subroutine completes its task the written instruction returns to the calling program by branching indirectly through the link register the call instruction is a special branch instruction that performs the following operation as store the content of the program counter into the link register or branch target to the targeted address specific by the instruction whereas the written instruction is a special instructions that performs the operation called as branch to the address contained in the link register such a way it's going to do the operation of this particular subroutine subroutine nesting and the processor stack what is nesting what is subroutine nesting subroutine nesting means one subroutine call another subroutine in this case the written address of the second call is also stored in the link register destroying its previous content hence it is essential to save the content of the link register in other location in some other location before calling the another subroutine otherwise the written address of the first subroutine will be lost so subroutine nesting can be carried out to any depth eventually the last subroutine called completes its computation and returns to the subroutine that called it the written address needed for this first written is the last one generated in the nested call queues or sequence uh, that is the written address are generated and used in the last in first out order this suggests the last uh, written address associated with subroutine calls should be pushed onto a stack particular register is uh, designated as the stack pointer to be used in this operation the stack pointer is used to point to the processor stack the call instruction pushes the content of the program counter onto the program stack which written instruction pops the written address from the processor stack into the program count such a way the nesting is going to be get happen so it's called a subroutine nesting uh, sometimes parameter passing also going to be happen over there how this parameter passing is going to be happen the exchange of information between a calling program and a subroutine is referred to as parameter passing the parameter may be placed in register or in memory location where they are can be assessed by the subroutine alternatively parameters may be placed on the processor stack used for saving the written address okay a small program can uh, be used over there to specify how it's going to be get done over there so a small program we can make use of that one with the help of a small subroutine uh, instructions can be uh, call instructions with an label of subroutine and the written instruction which is going to be given to the calling program such a way the subroutine is going to be get work and which is going to be get used in the main program too